peak water is the idea that we are effectively running into constraints and limits on our water use, on water availability, on water quality, on the ecosystem impacts of, of the, the consequences of our using water. Peak water doesn't mean we're going to run out of water. Water is a renewable resource. But peak water means that we're running into limits. Uh, we're running into renewable peak limits where we can no longer increase the amount of water we're taking out of rivers when we take all of it. Uh, we're running into non-renewable peak water limits where very much like oil, we're over pumping a non-renewable groundwater uh, supply, a non-renewable aquifer, and it becomes more and more expensive and more and more damaging and more and more difficult to pump groundwater. And that's a peak non-renewable limit. And we're running into peak ecological limits where the use of additional water causes more ecological harm than it provides economic benefit. And that's a peak ecological limit. And as we run into these peak water limits, uh, we have to think more carefully about the kinds of water we use, about the kinds of things we use water for, and about the policies we put in place to make sure that we're not exceeding these limits in the future. The advantage of the idea of peak water is that it lets us think differently about the limits that face us. It lets us think differently about the limits to the water that's available for us to use and about the water that it's appropriate for us to use and about the policies to put in place to avoid the bad things that happen when we reach or exceed peak constraints. Uh, we're very bad at understanding peak water limits. The, the idea is relatively new. Uh, we don't measure peak water carefully. We don't collect the data necessary to understand when we're approaching or exceeding peak water limits. But without a doubt, we are exceeding peak water limits in more and more regions of the world. And that's going to have implications for our economies. It's going to have implications for our environment. And so understanding and applying the, the idea of peak water is the first step toward developing strategies and institutions to avoid the worst disasters associated with overuse and inappropriate use of our water resources. And the first step to developing the kinds of policies in place that we want to put in place to avoid the worst things that will happen.